Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to Two God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice! It is November the 3rd, 2021, and today the topic is Do Not Comply. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Thank you all that tuned in yesterday to our live episode of Accountability with Mr. Leo Walker. You guys may saw a little bit, you know, a little closer look at uh, the progress. <laughs> the progress. Um, thank you so, so much to each and every one of you all that showed love and support and commented and liked and all those different things. I saw them. I appreciate them. Um, and I appreciate you. I truly, truly appreciate you taking out the time to acknowledge again the things that the Lord is doing through me with this fitness journey, you know. Um, I am encouraged to keep going. Uh, yes, by Mr. Leo and also by you all and and also by seeing some results. So, I mean, you know, if nothing else, uh, I hope that you all are encouraged too to, you know, um, celebrate each win. Like, I, I've been doing that all year in other aspects of my life. And so when... Mr. Leo said that yesterday when we were live. I just was like, of course, of course, celebrate this moment. 30 days in, we already see some results. I should celebrate. So thank you, praise God for that. Um, again, thank you to all of y'all that are following me on that journey as well. And again, I hope that it encourages you and inspires you as well. So um, not too, too much else to report from yesterday. Um, I just pretty much, uh, I did my tasks that I needed to do. Um, you know, shout out to my new student that I'm working with, a uh, virtual acting student. Um, excited to embark on the journey uh, with this gentleman. Maybe I'll share more about him or whatever uh, in the future. But uh, as of now, you know, I'll just say that I'm excited to work with them. Seems like we're going to be... Um, kind of getting some of the things, like some basic things, um, getting him ready for uh, the professional acting aspect of or side of things. So, yeah, man. Um, so getting some of those basics together for him and with him. So that's what's going on with that. Um, aside from that, man, just hustles from home. Um, I didn't share with you all, but basically I had someone that um, – wanted to do a virtual nail bar so you guys know i have unwise self-care and sip spa right you guys can go to unwiseselfcare.com and check out the information about that but um basically monday i kicked off this christmas themed um nail bar virtual nail bar and so we were on like day two of that yesterday so i was doing you know doing that and communicating with those ladies in that group uh for the virtual event um, whatever else I was doing, y'all, I don't know, like, I'm always doing a whole bunch of things, <laughs> um, or whatnot, so, in the midst of that, of course, being a mom and all that good stuff, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, because I can keep going on and on, talking about, like, my personals and what I did yesterday and whatnot, but y'all came here for the juice, right, y'all came here for the juice, so, um, so do not comply. Now I know that might be some triggering words for people these days. Y'all might, you know, see that and feel some way and be like either yeah or no or I don't know like what you feel when you saw those words this morning. But um the interesting thing is that um you know, after I did my prayer meditation, which was kind of centered around purpose and everything, um you know, just kind of going deeper about that one of the first things that came in my mind afterwards was that, you know, I feel out of touch. <laughs> um, I feel out of touch to a certain extent when it comes to, I guess, life now. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, the things that people focus on uh, around me or online or whatever. Um it's like my mind's not on that stuff, you know? And so, because of that, I feel out of touch. Now, you know, obviously, 
uh, I guess I feel like I'm in good company because according to the word, you know, uh, we're in this world and not of this world and all these different things. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's where my mindset was this morning. That's like, again, that's the first thing that came to my mind after my prayer and meditation. So uh, with that in mind, I decided to just look up some verses. And so one of the first one, uh, verses that I came across this morning was Romans 12 and 2. And it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So um, again, this is not a new verse. I mean, I'm sure I've shared it before on the juice. I mean, I'm sure you guys have read it before as well. Um, however, for me this morning, the word conformed stuck out. Um, you know, so much so that I ended up um, looking it up. But y'all know that the phrase that says, do not be conformed to this world, right? So I was like, let me look up this word conform. Just to, you know, let's make sure, let's see what's going on, right? So the interesting thing is when I looked up the definition of conform, it says comply with rules, standards, and laws. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I guess that's what put me in the mindset of do not comply. Um, because when you put that definition in the verse that I just shared, which it says, do not be conformed to this world. So let's take conformed out, right? And let's put the definition. It says, do not be uh which I know I'm using conform and not conformed. So, so let's just say, okay. So do not, right, comply with rules, standards, and laws to this world. Or if I'm going to say it correctly, it will be of this world. Um, and that's just me. I'm not trying to change the Bible, right? I'm just trying to get a better understanding <laughs> of what I'm reading here. So that's what I kind of got when I read it this morning um, and when I found out the definition or reminded myself of the definition of conform, yeah, that's what it put me in the mindset of. It says, literally, if you put conform in there, it's saying, do not comply with rules, standards, and laws of this world. So, I don't know how y'all feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh <laughs> For me, it made me think about, um, I guess, a lot of the things that's going on. But, you know, obviously a lot of things that has already happened and whatnot. I mean, if you um, actually I posted this um, or I shared, I shared this post the other day um, and it went on to kind of talk about like different uh, biblical figures. It's like, you know, um, basically that Jesus didn't com uh, comply with the Pharisees and Sadducees, you know, all the way to like East Esther didn't comply with, you know, uh, those laws about the king. Like it just had those type of different examples. And then it had this quote here. It says, it's not Christian to do what you're told. If what you're told doesn't align with what God tells you to do. So, um, Again, I mean, you know, obviously that was the inspiration that all that that I just already shared was the inspiration for the topic today. Do not comply. And again, I mean, obviously there's a lot to go deeper about um, in a lot of different ways. Right. You know, I don't know where you are and what part of this resonates with you. But hey, you know, maybe you need to go deeper about the concept of not complying with the laws of the land if they don't line up with the words of the Bible or, you know, God's word or what God tells you to do X, Y, and Z. Um, you know, maybe that part resonates with you today. Um, and if so, I mean, nothing wrong with that. Go deeper friends. I mean, there's plenty again of examples of, uh, humans having to take that same stance in their time. You know, um, again, Esther, y'all already know about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, y'all already know about, um, Many biblical figures that, you know, had to deal with the same type of issue um, based on, like, what was going on in their time and the laws of the land or whatever they were in. And, you know, and they did not comply and God and they saw God do miraculous things through them not complying and whatnot. So, 
you know, take those things, be encouraged and inspired. I mean, that could be the juice for you. <laughs> um, you know, however, um, I'm, I'm going to keep going a bit, you know, um, I have plenty in the go deeper section that you all can, um, go deeper about as well. I might mention some of them in detail or specifically in a moment, but let me share another verse I came across this morning. First John two and 15, it says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in him. Now, that was interesting to read this morning after um, my prayer meditation because I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say my prayer meditation uh, reminded me of, um, oh yeah, yeah, like um, loving our neighbors as ourselves and everything like that. And I was already kind of thinking a little deeper about that as well because again, like I told you guys the other day, I feel like we as humans, we just struggle with the idea of you know life right and that we don't value life and sometimes we don't value ourselves so it might even be hard for us to love our neighbors as ourselves if again we don't value ourselves is this whole thing and then obviously that all goes back to loving god as well because what we're made in the image of god right and so um you know again a lot more to go deeper about again so maybe that's the juice for you today go deeper about that part you know um However, again, that had me reflecting on that, reading this verse, or reading this verse after reflecting on that, um, made me think about this. And maybe it's just something to just make sure we be clear about, because again, um, for whatever reason, uh, I know people may feel some way about Christians and everything like that, it may feel as if we're supposed to be the most loving according to the word, right? However... You know, that's not how we are seen as a whole. I'm just going to say in general as a whole. I'm not talking about different ministries and, and whatnot. I mean, some may be operating in the way things are supposed to be. So I'm not saying that. But as a whole, like when people think about us, they don't necessarily think about love, which they should according to the Bible, right? Um, so being clear, right? Because the, the word does say love your neighbor as yourself and everything. So we're not talking about... Now, I would say, again, we have to go deeper about this, and I added that to the go deeper section as well, and I'll um, share it momentarily. Um, however, even after reading this verse about not loving the world, I think it's important to be clear that we're not referring to people, right? Like, I think now, it, again, biblical scholars and whatnot can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. However, I think it's important to just be, be clear that we're supposed to do what the word says and love our neighbors as ourselves, right? So just because it says do not love the world or the things in the world doesn't mean don't love people, right? Don't love your neighbor, right? It's, I believe it's referring to something else. So for me, that made me want to go deeper about, you know, just this definition of the word, of the word world, the biblical definition of the word world, um, so I did add that to the Go Deeper section today. Um, you guys can go deeper. I came across an article. It was written on CARM.org, C-A-R-M dot O-R-G. Uh, and it's called, let's see, Words Mean What They Mean in Context and then in um, World. So if you look that up and look it up on um, CARM.org, you should be able to find that and you can read it and see what it says about the word world and how many different, you know, uh, meanings that it has in the Bible. Um, I think that one might be a great place to start because if you just look up the definition of world, it's going to be talking about something else. And um, I think we should be clear and, and focus on the biblical side um, because, again, as you go deeper about this subject, you're going to see the word world used over and over again. It's like, you know, and, um, yeah, so that's just something, a little, another little side note. I don't know if that's the juice for you this morning, but, you know, just saying these are things that I went deeper about and I'm just sharing them on today. Let me see another verse I came across is Colossians 3 and 2. It says, set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth. 
So, yeah, like I told y'all this morning, I mean, you know, I already feel like I am just out of touch. Like, you know, um, again, people are celebrating, um, you know, different, I guess, achievements that are happening here. Um, you know, I, I acknowledge it. You know, I've seen it. You know, I am in Georgia. So, I mean, you people know people are celebrating the Braves. Just, I guess, won the World Series and all that stuff. Hey, congratulations, whatever. Um, however, my mind's not on any of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's And so, it's just interesting. Uh, that's all I'm sharing and saying today. It's interesting uh, to... Uh, I guess keep our minds on the things of the spirit and to uh, try to live this way. And it, the interesting thing is, again, I don't talk so much about Papa Ray's interview, but <laughs> again, y'all are not going to see it until maybe, I don't know, like later on this month. But um, we were talking about that and I was asking him, you know, how can we keep our minds on the things of the spirit and, and whatnot? Because sometimes, again, we can get so caught up with, things that's going on in this world, like the things that are going on in the natural, um, the issues of life and all those different things that we don't focus on God, we don't do his will, we don't walk in our purpose and, and any of that stuff. And so I, I did ask him, you know, well, how can we keep our minds on in the spirit, right? Um, and I can't remember if he fully answered me <laughs> or in a way for me to... Um, to really go deeper about it. But I think maybe, again, I think it's more so about staying in God's word and, um, you know, seeking him again for the wisdom and everything uh, that we need, that we may be confused about in life and whatnot. Um, and then, hey, I mean, maybe you guys will find yourself in my position where I'm feeling like out of touch. And I mean, it, it might be weird. Um, but I mean, Again, I feel like I'm in good company, so I'm not too, too worried about it or anything like that. I'm just going to, you know, keep doing what I feel led to do here. And again, I hope that it encourages and inspires uh, anyone that listens, watch, or whatever, um, or anybody I come in contact with. Um, again, there are plenty of verses written in the Go Deeper section for today. Um, one of them that I put in there is like this account. Uh, of uh, Jesus's prayer I believe it was on the mount and um I thought it was very interesting to read because you could like you could really tell that things he was saying had like more meaning beyond um I guess even what we know you know um so I mean I hope that you guys take a look at the go deeper section today I hope that you all you know let these verses and all these things marinate on your heart, souls, and minds this morning. Um, I guess I'm here to say that, hey, if you are in the same boat with me, if you feel like, oh, man, I'm out of touch, um, you know, I literally feel like I'm in this world but not of this world and all these different things, then, hey, you know, you're not alone. I I'm, I'm right here with you, man. Um, you know, so I hope that you're encouraged and inspired to know that. Um, and yeah, I mean, that that's it, y'all. That's it. Again, there's so many ways and so many things to go deeper about about this subject or about any of the things I've already shared. So I'm going to leave it right there, man. That is the juice. But the Bible verse of today is Psalm 42 and 11. It says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow with the Lord's will. Bye-bye. The Progress Podcast is a faith-based, family-friendly podcast established during quarantine, promoting progress as a pathway to purpose. As I'm growing, you'll grow too, because it is about progression, not perfection.